Amen. Good morning. Ah, God, I literally forgot the topic. I was just like, God, what is the topic? <laughs> ah, thank God, God finally reminded me. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this. Oh my Father, we thank you, Lord, for another time in your presence. Oh Lord, I return all glory to your name. Please be glorified. Be magnified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for your protection throughout the night. Thank you, Lord, for another new day in your presence. Thank you for the word of God. Another morning exhortation. Thank you for this morning's prayers. Thank you, Lord, because you didn't allow me to wait and wait and wait for this topic for too long. Thank you for giving me the topic eventually in the morning. Oh, we worship you. Father, we appreciate you. Please accept our praises. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, as we are here to listen to your word again, Father, please teach us. Speak through me. Fill me with the Spirit of God. Fill me with the power of God. Have your will, O Lord. Destroy the plans of darkness. Please open our understanding. Let the Spirit of God go out and teach us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, please speak through me. Fill me with the Spirit of God. Let the power of God flow through me. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Mm-hmm. So this morning, you know, usually I'm awake by 7. But today I was sleeping by 7. So I didn't wake up 7. And I woke up 9 eventually. So we had our morning prayers till around 10, past 10. I started praying for the topic. In fact, I knew that many topics came to me between yesterday and, and, and now. But I forgot. I was like, God, what is the topic? Oh, hey. I was watching videos online because sometimes I get uh, topics from videos online. I was watching the video. They did not, the topic did not come. I just put the video down and, say, and I started praying. As I got reminded me of in the night. Because that's one of the reasons why I'm, I woke up late. I slept, I slept early hours of the morning. So I, I remember when I was writing the um, blog posts. So guys, if you have not been joining my blog post, you can join. You know, I usually, there's one of the blogs that, these are our discussions, our podcast. It's a uh, uh, large day podcast. That, that is the name of the blog. So, blogger, it's on that blogger. So maybe other large day podcast blogger or dot blogger.com, you understand? Or maybe you can just check the link on my Facebook page on my Twitter and on my LinkedIn. So I was just doing, so the podcast and everything, I have one for money devotional, the one for podcast and the one for uh, motivation. So the one for podcast, I wrote yesterday's discussion, yesterday's podcast. And usually whenever I'm writing it, I don't write the descriptions I've put um, in the podcast. I allow fresh inspiration from God to, to direct me on what to write. So today, uh, today, I can call it today because it's early hours of today. Today while writing it, you know, God was just giving me new ideas. I even thought from Romans chapter 1 again, you know. The topic is to the sinners God gave travel. So God was just giving me new things to write. And one of the things I wrote there, it was very funny to me. And so I remember that I, I, when I said it, I was like, God, I'm going to use it to talk. I even put a laughing emoji on it. I said, honorably poor, proudly poor. <laughs> so, 
We want to discuss it. When you are proud, proudly poor, honorably poor. So I was talking about people that have to be molested. They have to be humiliated just to make money. And it's not humiliation like you have been humiliated because you don't have money. No, not those type of humiliations. Like I use the example of girls that have to get messed up for them to be given money. So that was what, that was the example I used. And I explained a little of some of the experiences they go through. Some of them, these men urinate in their mouth, you know. They make them to eat feces, all sorts of things. Just because they want to make money, just because they choose to do it through a sinful means. You see, there was a day I I had an experience. You know, all these things I, I passed through, like I always say, they are all um, chances for me to be able to speak to people that it's possible to say no and God will still come true for you. You understand? So the experience was like they were offering me and uh, you will be a girlfriend to a boy you will be sleeping in his house as his girlfriend and cooking for him and he will accommodate you so you will not be stranded, you will not be called a bum, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. I remember that time a guy actually called me a bum because I was asking him for help. He said, ah, oh God. And it's not as if he even asked money. You know, that, that's, that, that is... That is what I've been praying against recently. That God, the, the evils, the problem that I will be passing through that will be too difficult, that will be making me ask money from the poor people. Father Lord, please destroy this battle in my life. You know, when you ask money from someone that doesn't have, the person will be so insultive. But if it's someone that has, they will not insult you like that. So I pray to God that God, if it's evil covenant, scatter it in my life. I don't want to be. I don't even want to be meeting poor people in my life again. They can actually frustrate you. They will insult you. They will... They, ah, no, I don't, I don't want them. I don't want them around me. They will not have... Oh, they will be using... They will be lying. Instead of them saying, I don't have... Oh. They, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not that I'm saying that we already have everything. No, no, no that's not what I'm saying. But at least I, I've seen the difference between when your life is connected to... People that have money and people that don't have money. You understand? So, I know it's a battle that I was passing through that time that was even making me to be meeting those poor people. You know, me, I don't look down on people. That is the reason why I always fall into such situations. I don't, seriously, I don't look down on people. I, you can be so poor and I will look at you as if you worth more than more than that, but it's in their statement, in how they talk, that's how I know that, ah, we have been moving backwards, most more. You understand? So what am I trying to explain? I, around that time, I was made to live in a house of um, mentally delayed people. I can call it mentally delayed people because those people were, oh my God, they were, ah, Ah, never in my life. I will never have such bad experience again in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, God, please. I don't want to even remember it. Eh? Jesus. Ah, no, 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 no. That place is, is too low. Too low. Too low. And if if I was coming from somewhere lower and go to that place, it would have been okay. Or maybe if I was somewhere lower and I was living in that place, yeah, okay, it's still the same. But I was coming from somewhere high, and that battle brought me to that lower place. Ah, it was it was a very hard time in my life. Every time I I try to feel comfortable, the Lord will tell me, "No, daughter, you must not feel comfortable in this place. Somebody will just come and stress me again. You will just so many bad things are that we ah." 
No, Lord, please, in your mercy, in your grace, don't let me experience this evil again in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. So what am I saying? I, I was in that type of house, and somebody offered me a beautiful house. Like, you know those type of houses that, uh, what do they call it? To, like, it's like duplex in a house. Uh, uh, what, do, what do they call this kind of thing? No. I forgot what they usually call it, but like your bedroom is upstairs. It's not. It's not a big house. You understand? It's a studio apartment, and it was so beautiful that I had to need and lie there and say, "God, please give me this type of house. God provide for me. I want to rent this house." But the option that we collect the house at that time was you are going to be sleeping with man to take the house. I chose to I chose to go to that low house and pray and wait on God to lift me out. And I'm telling you, the day or when God eventually lifted me up, that option to get a house was there again. But it was already lower to what God has done for me. So what am I trying to say today? We are trying to discuss honorably poor. Instead of uh disappointing God to get out of shame and reproach and and um, humiliation because we don't have money. Be honorably poor. <laughs> Be honorably poor. Be integrity poor. Be proudly poor. So the example I used there is uh, in the podcast. I said, okay, maybe you, you, your, your friend, you look at them, oh, she's a big girl, she's enjoying, they're flying private jets, they're flying, they're carrying them on private jet. But when they carry them on private jet, they post it online, making it look as if they are enjoying. But all the enjoyment is just that private jet. When they get to where they're going, man, different men, maybe... 30 men will be there, and then five girls will be naked. Imagine 30 men going around five girls, you know? They will really mess them up. Men are, men are evil. Me, yeah, me that I'm always saying it. People will be saying, don't judge men like that. What is the truth now? I'm not lying. I'm not, it's not as if I'm using it to condemn them. I'm not condemning them. I'm just saying the truth. You see? So you... You, you, they, will, they will mess them up. They always, they always harsh. They always um, arrogant. They always um, what's the other English? I don't. It's as if they don't even have feelings. I don't know because I don't know. They will, they will mess them up. They will do all sort of things. You know, by the time they are leaving, by the time those guys are leaving, there we have bruises. They we have pains. They we have all sort of things. And we have to go to hospital to go and take care of all those things. They will, they will really mishandle them. Men are always violent. You understand? That's why I stay away from men. I don't. Ah, no, I don't want stress. If any man will be my husband, he should not be a man that will that will be stressful. That will, I don't. I don't want stress. I always avoid it. You sh- you shout on me once. You will not shout the second one. I have run away. You 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 do any hour one time I've run away. I don't have strength. I always want peace around me. The same way you men too, you want peace. The same way me too, I want peace. So I don't want all this a man telling me eh, because you are trying to tell him something that is hurting you and then he say you are nagging. You say that statement once like this, you will never nothing will, will connect me and you together again. So just go your way, I go my way. You understand because I respect myself so much. So what am I trying to say there? You just because you you don't want to be humiliated or you don't want to be sent out or you don't want to live in a low house like a slum. Okay, I can say that place I lived was like a slum. You know, slum is different from slum. We have slum of Nigeria and this one is like slum of abroad. <laughs> you understand? But that was that was an experience, and it was still better than sleeping on the street. But yet, it wasn't comfortable. It wasn't what I wanted. And I was coming from somewhere higher, and, and I just bounced myself on that place, you know. 
But God bounced me up back home. But that was an experience. And there was another option that would have made you say, okay, let me, to avoid this uh, low thing, let me go for that other option. But I prefer to be honorably poor. So today we want to discuss being honorably poor. We discussed that those that, that um, um, what was the English? As they will not want to have God in their knowledge, God give them over to the probate mind. You know, that was what I was talking about in that blog. And and I was like, God always, when you choose not to honor God, and now you want to make money, you are just after money, money, money. The Lord will do to you, the Lord will leave you. He will allow you to do things that are not convenient. And what do we mean by doing things that are not convenient? That is, uh, doing things that that will be stressful for you, that will mean evil for you, that will torment you. You can't get yourself out from it. You, 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 it's just a punishment from God. It's not as if it is. It is uh, because some people they want to they want to use different excuses to do it. It's not. It's not excuse. There's no excuse. It's just torment from God. Just like when God sent. Evil spirits, when evil spirit from God was tormenting Saul because he would not honor God. So it's the same way. The Lord will just send that torment on you to just be tormenting you because you choose the way of the world, the way of sin. You saw it as an easier way. Whereas God can even do more and better for you. You see? Instead of instead of humbling yourself or humiliating yourself with a sinful thing to make money, I'm telling you, it's humiliating. If you think it's not humiliating, it's humiliating. It's people that that go through such things. You should go and ask. There are a lot of examples, but we are just after the first example. That is for you to be sleeping with man for money. You know, it's an humiliating experience. First of all, you are not in love with this man. Second of all, it, it affects your self-worth. That is the reason why many times when some men are approaching me with some kind of things, they, they feel all ladies are supposed to be taking such things. I don't take such rubbish because I have self-worth. I don't mess with my self-worth. I don't do things to mess with my self-worth. I have it. You understand? Like, um, <laughs> oh God, God, I don't want to be meeting bad people in my life again in Jesus' name. I want good people. Good people, people with reasonable experience. I mean, reasonable sense. You understand? The man said he has wife, he has two kids. And then you are coming to tell me you, you, you like me. You want to be dating me. Ah, I'm to your Lord. King Moshe, what is my offense? What did I do to you? So I don't deserve husband too that will say that will call me wife. I don't deserve it. Or so what's what's the meaning of that statement? The man stopped talking to me when I finished preaching to him. You understand? But on a on a norm norm on a normal normal, you see, he will be like, ah. <laughs> you know, he was looking at he was saying it as if on a normal day, every girl accepts such things. You understand? He was, he was saying it as if it's a normal thing to do. He said, of course, some women uh, are, are also doing it. Too. I said, okay, that means you are going to be very, very happy if your wife is doing it, right? <laughs> when I finished talking, he vanished. He stopped talking to me. <laughs> you understand? But what, what, what I'm trying to say there is that it's because they have lost their self worth. They don't know what is what is correct and what is not correct anymore. You see, they don't know what is right. That's why a man will be shitting on their head. They will be licking it. They will say, "Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, thank you for this shit that they have shit on their head." You see, <laughs> because they have lost all the self worth. Don't lose your self worth. Don't lo- be proudly poor. Be honorably poor. Be poor with with 
with honor. Let God honor you. Let the glory of God be with you. The Lord talked about Joseph in the prison. Prisoners are usually low people, right? They are usually people not to be reckoned with. But the Lord said his honor was with Joseph, even in the prison. So much that even the leader, the head of the prisoner, the head of the prison, made him a leader there because the Lord was with him. The presence of God was with him. So be honorably poor. He chose to go into the prison rather than sleeping with his boss wife. On a normal day, you will look at sleeping with the boss wife and having beauty like all what is happening nowadays that some men are um, sleeping with women to have an easier life. You see? Maybe to keep their jobs or to, you know, so many things like that. He chose to he chose he chose the other way, the other way of he going into into the prison, and that was more honorable. So the Lord is encouraging us today: be honorable in your in 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 your poor state. At least that time when I was living in that low house, I was able to pray. If I was living in that boy's house, I would not have time to pray. Morning when I wake up, I will be cooking. At night, he will be sleeping with my enemy, not me. And to, to make it worse, this guy has fiancé in Nigeria that is looking for a woman to come and be sleeping with him in, in his house. You. you know, another girl was doing it with another man that has wife and kids in Nigeria. And they were, they were, she was trying to advise me, hey, you don't have to love him. With time, you will be loving him. It's not my advice. I don't listen to her. It's me said I preached to her. Say you will not go and find way of of, of bettering your life like this, that you are staying with man that that's why. I was asking her, so you mean you will, you feel good that this man has wife? So you not plan your own life. You'll be running around man like this. Say, what if you get pregnant? He said it's okay for him, for her, there is no problem. You know, that's those are things that that people are trying to run away from. You are trying to run away from poverty. She feels, okay, but at least my needs are being met. But God can give you more than that for heaven's sake. The food you will shop today, by the time it's tomorrow, you will shit everything out just because of food. Because of food. The food I ate yesterday now, I'm already feeling hungry this morning now. Usually I eat by around that 7 a.m. that I wake up. But I know, as I was too tired, you know, I, I drank coffee some days ago, so I've, it has been really, really affecting me that I can't sleep at night. So uh, it was that early hours of the morning, I was finally had to force myself, like, by force, by force, I must sleep so that I can be refreshed in the morning like this. Because if I didn't sleep, I know it, I will, by this time now, I will be finding it difficult to, to do all these things, you understand? So that's why I forced myself. So what am I trying to say there? Now I'm already feeling hungry. It's as if I did not even eat yesterday. And I ate. I took a lot of drinks because I'm recovering, you understand? Whenever I'm, I'm recovering, I take a lot of liquids. I took everything. Now it's, my stomach is flat as if I did not take anything. You see? So because of the food you will eat, you will go and dishonor yourself. You go and humiliate yourself. You allow the devil to trash you. They will trash you, they will talk down at you, they will do all sorts of manner of things. You can't control yourself, you can't you can't control your time, you can't control your your honor. Be honorably poor, even if you have to go and live in a slum, it should just be for a while. You don't know that honor attracts honor. Or how do I put it? When you are a person of honor, the day an honorable person sees you. The person will recognize it in you. But if you have been the type that you can do any messy thing for money, like girls that that are doing Aristo, there's no honor on them. That those are the things they are taking away from them and they are using to do rituals. Don't give yourself over to all these kind of things. You understand? Don't give yourself to men to to mess you up like this and take your honor from you. Thomas Oko won't low go in you. You don't know what we, we call Ogo. What you call Ogo, there are all these virtues that people see in you. Someone like me now, 
I, I, we encounters of people, and they were saying, I'm arrogant, I cannot be controlled. Uh, uh, which other English did they even use? That I'm rude, I'm clinical. It's, big, it's a virtue they are seeing in me. They wanted to, to, to press me down. They wanted to make me uh, their slave. You know, these are the tricks people are using to, to make people their slaves nowadays. They will, they will um, show off some beautiful things in front of you. And then when you say, oh, this is so beautiful I want. So now say, hey, if you want, come and collect it. Be bringing money. You know, they will put you in a kind of state. And for me, I, I, I didn't care. I didn't bother. I didn't, it didn't affect me. You know, they saw I could, I could do without those things. They were t- telling me to be fantasizing about things I want, about houses I want. That I should be putting it on, 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 uh, what was the name of that place? Uh, pin interest. You understand? And I'm like, uh, I don't have a job. I don't have money. Why would I be fantasizing about a house? I have to have a job. If I have a job, then I'll plan on, on that job and say, okay, with this job or with this money, I can have this house. You know, when I talk like that, they were afraid of me. So they had to let me go. You know, if it's somebody that, that is not, that the virtue has been lost in their life, they will just get him. So these are the things, these are the things they are collecting from people. These are the things they are collecting from people when they are saying they are using them for rituals. They are collecting your virtue. They are collecting that power of honor. That honor, that is what they are collecting from you. All those girls that they are using for, for rituals, they will still be alive, but they have taken something from them. It's the honor they have collected. That is why a man will go on it and say, hey, if I don't give you, if you don't, if you don't drink, uh, drink his dick, how will he, how will she pay for bag, how will she pay for, for woman, hey, imagine, after God has even given you beautiful hair like this, all the hair that is on my head, now I've not even finished combing it, so I will not go and add another extra uh, hair on it, that is, those are the virtues that are, that have been taken away from you, and then this man will be insulting you, will be messing you up. You will still be laughing like idiots. You will still be, hey, 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 hey. It's insulting you. But because your virtue, your glory, everything, the honor has been taken away from you. You will be laughing like idiots. You understand? You will be seeing it. You will say, hey, if you don't suck the dick, how will you pay for your rent? You will be laughing like idiots. <laughs> when you can actually be honorable poor and you will go and work and you will make that money. I said by the time God came through in my life. That house became like, like, very low to what God gave me, and I'm like, God, in this life, it's not good to to mess up, or to mess up yourself. Or you will lose that honor. You see, that is what I'm saying. The day the honor will come, the day an honorable person will see you, the day they saw Joseph, they saw him as a man of honor. The day Pharaoh saw him, he saw him as a man of honor. You understand? Because he didn't mess up his honor. Assuming he messed up his honor to become uh, the boss wife, I mean, the boss, the boss sex, what do they call it? The boss sex, sex mate, I mean, the wife's boss. <laughs> no vex. The bo- I don't, I know they call it a particular name. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember the name, but you get what I'm trying to say. Assuming he, he chose to be the sex slave of that wife of this boss. You know, the honor would have been taken away from you. You don't know that these things are energy. It's energy. That's my energy that I have everything with me now. That is why somebody that is demonic will attack me. Not that attack me to overcome. They will not overcome me, but they can't feel comfortable in my energy. Because I'm not, I'm not messed up. My energy is not messed up. It's not tampered with. It's pure. My energy is pure. You know that guy that was chatting with me, he said, hey, he's attracted to me. I said, that is how everybody is attracted to me. Because I have a healing energy. You understand? That energy is, is pure. It's not messed up. You can easily get attracted to it. Even if you are, you are the type that you are, you are going through a lot. If you come on into my energy, it will heal you. You will feel safe. You will feel comfortable. So you see what I'm trying to say. Don't allow anyone to mess that energy from you. 
Don't allow anyone to take it away from you. It's it's powerful. Don't allow anyone to to lower the glory and the grace of God from you. Be honorably poor. You will not die. The Lord will always come true. You see? During all this my experiences, the Lord has really made me to see that He has always come true times and times and times and over again. And I've seen it. Even my present time now is part of God's divine intervention. That's what God told me. So God is saying, He will He will never leave you. So be honorably poor, be proudly poor with your energy, with your virtues, with your integrity, with your self worth. You know, as I'm saying it now, it's 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 uh, it is in all aspects. I mean, what is the English? It comes across a lot of a lot of aspects, but I'm, I just want to use this only one example today. But in in your own corner, maybe for those of you that is men, they sleep with you through the anus. You know, it's that thing is humiliating. You understand because anus is for is for shitting. It's not for sex, but they are humiliating you. To do that, you understand. You feel you have the money, but after having the money, you go to your closest after the day and you cry. You feel like this is not right. This is not what you want. But if you are honorably poor in your house, you see, all your virtue is still with you, all your glory is still with you. Nobody can come and 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 entice you with something that does not make sense. Nobody can take your glory away from you. You understand. So don't 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 sell it. Don't sell the glory of God in your life. Don't sell the power of God in your life for money. The Lord will come true. We are his children. He has plans for us. So uh, I I am leaving it to the Holy Spirit because even me as I'm saying, I don't even know what I'm saying again, but I just want to believe that the Holy Spirit wants to use this word. So may God help us. And even if it's you that you are doing fraud, you know that sometimes your conscience will we fight with you. You understand? So, but when you are honorably poor, you, you will have to to kill your conscience to to make somebody else sad. You understand? You are honorably poor. You see? The Lord will bless you at his own right time. God will always come true. God will always bless us at his own right time. Like me, God allowed me to pass through those things so that I can be in this type of situation today where I'm, I can preach with what I passed through. Before I say two statements now, I'm only sharing my experience. That is the plan of God from the onset. So maybe you too, God wants to take you through those experiences so that you can be able to learn more. So that you, you understand. The English of what I mean by that is so that you can be able to say it and say it is possible. Because every day people are passing through these situations and they always feel it's not possible. But if by the grace of God, God made you to just go through it for a while. It won't be forever, for a while. You'll be able to tell people that it is possible. The Lord can do it. The Lord can lift you up. The Lord can make you to stand in days of trouble. The Lord will always come through. The Lord will always provide. He will never let you down. So may God help us. So everywhere or any aspect that God wants to use this word, may God use it. May God use it in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the word of God that has gone out. Oh Lord, we need your Holy Spirit to continually ring this word on our heart. Please help us so that we don't fall into temptation, we don't fall into sin, we don't mess ourselves up for money. Please come and help us. Have your will, Lord. Take control, take charge. O Lord, redeem today for us from all evils. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And refill me also with the with more of the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so very much. Have a great day. Bye.